Hello again everyone, this is another guide about Kronos Workforce Dimensions and this one's going to focus on the mobile app. But because it cannot be recorded from the app, I'm just going to do it from the browser. But it's practically the same thing on any mobile device, so I'll just sign in and we'll get started. Okay, now that we're in, first thing you need to know is that you cannot save your password in the Android version or the iOS version of Kronos. You have to log in each and every time, which is quite painful. So, it's the first major gripe out of the way. Now, once you're on the home screen, you see a list of options. Most of them are quite explan explanatory. First one, my notifications see a list of options that come through if you're managing a department or something you'll see a list of any other requests that your staff have sent through or any timekeeping duties that have come through as well so if someone's missed a punch or an exception you need to make an adjustment they'll come through there as well next is your profile page that's where you can adjust your profile pretty standard if you use any social media it's the same sort of process your time card check your current issues if there's anything that needs to be adjusted any exceptions um, your accruals shows you your current balance and if you have uh, anyone below you employees you'll be able to see those as well uh, same for this one here it shows different balances my time off shows if you've got any leave uh, put in for anything coming up manage my schedule shows you your ability to switch uh, shifts, open and uh, pick up a new shift, or change your availability. Now depending on your company, this one here will probably be quite an important aspect because you'll need to stay on top of it. And the other two are pretty self-explanatory as well, so if a shift comes up, you'll be able to grab it from that screen. Uh, another one, manage schedule. This screen here shows you a list of the current runnings for the day so depending on who's starting work who hasn't turned up who's on a break and who's leaving pretty handy though you probably won't use it that often because you'll probably be doing it from the desktop PC and punch here this is where you'll sign in one click of that tap of that you'll be signed in for the day or signed out you'll also be able to choose which location you're working at if that is an option for your company and again another my schedule option this one shows you your current working week so that's my current one here nothing really exciting and the last one my business processes this is where you can allocate roles to anyone below you so if you're going on holidays and your assistant store manager or somebody might be stepping up you can make that uh, change here so essentially just follow the flow through of your business structure, select the person you're looking for, and you're good to go. And that pretty much sums up that aspect of Kronos. Now, this side here is another heap of options. Now here, you can make changes to your employee time cards. So if anyone's late, missed the punches, exceptions, you can do that from here. We'll go into this in further detail when we do the main version but I'll just glaze over it for the mobile app. It's basically the same thing in a condensed format. Schedule, this is where you'll do your rostering, you can change your shifts, view the whole week, view your staff. Basically the standard rostering procedure you'll see from the Windows version, or the Chrome version I should say. Um, forecast planner, this is where you can do your auto-generated rostering. Operational dashboard, you can view some of the data for your current business structure and data views and reports you'll be able to just view general data for your current status week month year however you're going and the final one is your information so your time card info and your calendar info pretty pretty straightforward if you need to sign out it's just there though signing out is not really the issue it's staying in that's the main part that's the screen i actually clicked earlier so i'll close that now you've got tile access via settings 
and any exceptions that might pop up from the control center. So there's one there. And I'll just close that. Oops. And that's pretty much the mobile app. Now, this could be worse, but it's not the most intuitive or useful option either, especially that you can't sign in. Anyway, that wraps up another guide. I hope you found it useful. Probably nothing too new, but it's a nice overview, and some of the more complicated stuff will come when we go into the deeper steps. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.